All right, welcome back, guys. Ghost Dog Gaming. We are playing some Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, and today we're going to be working on this bad boy right here. That's right, one of my all-time favorite cars, the Ford GT40. Oh, actually, shoot, can I say that word? The F word? Or will I get copywritten? Check mark. Live is back. The uptime mm. of the session continued. Should I? Eh, whatever. GT40. We'll say GT40 from now on. Um, we're using the G... I mean, everybody knows what the GT40 is, but who cares? I just don't want to get copywritten and yelled at because I'm just trying to do some things for fun. I'm not trying to make any money off of this. I just like rebuilding cars, and I like letting everybody else watch me rebuild cars. Some people find it therapeutic. So, if anything, if you consider this therapy, we'll just call it that. Car Mechanic Simulator Therapy. All right. So, we are, it's an, it's a, there's a new engine that we're building as well with this DLC that came out. Um, there's actually quite a few engines that came out um, that were uh, released with this DLC. Um, uh, there was a Coyote engine, there's a small block, and then there's a Ford, a, three, a 309 and a, or a 429, something like that. Um, I can't remember, but that one up there that is in the GT40 is a, uh, I think that's a specific, that's a specific en engine to this car. So get this thing started. Not a lot of car parts on this bad boy. This is also part of the, uh, one of the cars that we need to restore fully for our list of cars that we've been, that I, uh, have decided yesterday that I want to do. I want to rebuild every car, um, that is available to rebuild. So if you guys watched my streams yesterday, uh, they're up on my YouTube, by the way. Um, you will see that I have made kind of like a a goal here to um, restore every find find every car in the barn and every car in the uh, junkyard and rebuild them to 100%. <clears throat> now there are some cars that are only available in the um, car, car, car salon, the dealership. Um, so I'm not counting those cars because they already have 100% parts and that sort of thing. So I don't really, I don't really see how taking the whole car apart and then just rebuilding it would even be worth it. Um, unless it's a, it's a car that has maybe some aftermarket parts and we want to swap out the aftermarket parts, maybe, but we're not going to, that's like very, very low on the list. Cause that's going to be pretty, pretty quick. Okay, we get these sway bar off. This guy around here. Oh. Make, mm, come on do that I'm excited to uh, okay let's all right let's drop this back down we're gonna take the tire off oh we gotta take the whole clamshell off Yep, got to take the whole clamshell off. <laughs> All right, pulled the engine out, and then there's the, right there, the fuse box. Okay. Get that tire. Put the engine over here. 
That is the 289 Ford Small Block. I've never built one of those, and that's one of the new engines, so I'm excited. But first, let's see what we can repair. I'm glad they got, uh, they actually gave it GT40 rims. Oh no, broke that. You know, since we're going to keep this car, <clears throat> I may actually do performance parts. I think we should. A lot of these, a lot of these parts aren't performance parts, so we don't have to worry about about fixing these. But like the engine parts, for sure, uh, are going to need to be performance parts. Not all of them, but some of them. All right, so we have GT40 rims, so we need two more of those. Wait, was it size 15? Yep, size 15. Uh, GT40. I don't, there it is. 215. We've got slick tires, that one. Okay, so we need one. Oh, Vintage Tire B. Hmm. Now nah, we'll do Slick Tires. So we need two at 315.60. And then we need two at 265.60. get over to the tune-up shop because we're gonna need these brakes here clutch plate flywheel and a pressure plate huh, there's no there's no uh, high-performance suspension parts that's understandable Install that one first before we get to balancing this guy. Man, I really, I really wish that I could play this game in VR, dude. 100%. Uh, oh, we need our, our suspension parts here. So we need two of those, two of those, because we have, <clears throat> we have the dual wishbone suspension. Uh, we'll need two of those and four of those. Wait, two of those. Wait, four of those? Four of those. 
Where is the... There it is. There's the cap right there. Okay. Uh, and then... Let's work on the front here first. Radiator. We got our fan housing B. Coolant reservoir C. Brake servo. Coolant reservoir C. Radiator fan housing B. Now we got our water. Okay. Get that guy in there. Okay. I think we're good there. All right. Oh, power steering. Uh, Power steering reservoir. I almost forgot about that one. And then our electronics. We need our battery. And then we are going to need the cover for that one. I know that for sure. Alright. We did repair the fuse box. So let's go over to the fuse box. Let's see. We need two A's. A B. And then two C's. Okay. Tan, tan, blue, red. So one red, two tans, and a blue. Alright, is that it for accessories, other than what's underneath? Yes, so, let's lift this car up. We do need tune-up, let's look for our exhaust for the GT40. Rear muffler, rear muffler, there it is. Boom. Alright. Ah, oh, the engine bay. I should have seen that coming. I should have seen that coming. Oh, we can't repair these. But what we can do is we can get the fuel pump, which we do have one of those already. Need both of these fuel tanks. One. Oh, crap. I just realized you only need one fuel pump. Well, <laughs> there we there we go. All right, let's uh, let's get to work on this suspension here. Front steering knuckle B. That's one that we broke. Bottom suspension arm. So we need four, eight. We need sixteen rubber bushings. Oh, wait, hold on. And we need the sway bar links. Might as well grab those. Uh, front sway... I didn't see what front sway bar we needed. But I'm going to go ahead and grab quite a few of these other ones. Nope. We forgot to assemble our pieces. sway bar and at least our steering rack is 100% normal front sway bar will get you put in there and there's our sway bar link yeah Cap. 
Brake test ventilated. Oh. <laughs> Brake pads. I'm pretty sure we only have... Oh, we have four. Oh, we have all the calipers. Nice. Am I missing? Oh. I was like, why is the wheel not showing up? That was, a, that was a 265, right? Oh boy, I hope that was a 265. We're about to find out. Fifteen, three fifteen. Okay, good. We put a two sixty-five on the on the back or on the front. Thank God. I thought we had the wrong one. All right, rear axle knuckle housing. Oh man, we broke one of those too. Rear axle knuckle housing D. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it now. Have the upper suspension arms? Oh, it didn't come with it. Rear axle knuckle cover. Rear wheel hub B. Rear wheel hub. There it is. I like how you could put the the ventilated brake, the performance ventilated brake disc on the back, but I don't know. I guess I put just normal brake discs in the back and not ventilated ones. I don't know. Disc, brake pad, and calipers. All right, can't put the tires on, obviously, because we have to fix the engine first. So, but we can at least put the exhaust there. Like that beautiful. All right, let's do it. Let's get to the engine. I'm excited. Do I have any brakes? Oh, I do have brakes that I can leave. All right. <clears throat> Obviously an eight-cylinder car. Laving the brakes because uh, it saves a lot of money. <clears throat> and we can use them on like the non performance cars that we're not going to work on. So. Back. We got 
two more breaks to do. Start working on the front here. Serpent team built for V8. Alternator, huh? Got the I6. Okay, and last lathe break. Look at that, 19%. It's at 19%, but once you do the the, the break lathe, that freaking brings it all the way back to 100%. That saves so much money. So much money. And it's free, too. It doesn't cost a single dollar. I mean, you could, in theory, you know, if you find a junkyard car or like a, uh, uh, like a barn car or something, you can you could get it, and if it's got you know all the brakes and stuff, you can freaking redo the brakes, and there you go, you've got a little bit of extra cash. I mean, it's not a huge money making thing, but it's enough to where you know you did a free car wash, a free internal, uh, what's it called, a free. Uh, uh, inter uh, internal car wash, you know, so you're making, you're making a lot of money. All for doing free stuff, you know? Air trumpet. I think these are aftermarket parts. I don't think the air trumpets are. These carburetors I've definitely seen aftermarket parts on. Oh, of course we have rocker arms. Wouldn't expect anything less. Oh, that one's stuck. There are valve push rods. I'm going to need 16 of these again. Actually, let me just go ahead and take this guy off and just get the pistons out anyways. By the way, I'll be done with this whole side and then I can focus on the other side. Spark plugs on this side. It's hard to tell when they're like just a little bit rusted. Sometimes they sometimes they go and sometimes they don't. Like that one to the right is obviously gonna need to be sprayed, but I don't know, there's there's some where you're just like, is it rusted? And then it's like, yep, no, it won't it won't go anywhere.
Oh, the camshaft. Silly me. What? What am I missing? Did I... Oh, look at that. I forgot the... I got a crankshaft bearing cap down here. That's such a weird grindy sound. I it's so it's so gross. It's not gross. It's just like ah, it's like nails on a chalkboard. I don't know why I'm repairing a lot of this stuff because I could probably I could sell it at least you know and there are a lot of parts that are not performance related parts that we need to reuse obviously we are gonna need one clip B I know that for sure like this ignition cap and everything like that it only costs like three credits to repair and we could probably sell it for more you know what I mean Those engine heads are actually uh, performance parts. Maybe. All right. Let's get to it. So, I know for a fact we're going to need OHV. Well, hold on. We need a crankshaft bearing cap. That's for sure. At least, I'm going to get two just to be safe if I... If I don't need it, then I'll use it for the next build, but oil filter for V8 OHV. And then we're going to need that oil pan, piston rings, the rocker arms. Six, yeah, 16. I think I need the rod caps, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's get the valve push rods as well. Okay, now, tune-up parts. I know for a fact we need the I6B alternator. There's quite a few camshafts in here. So maybe, oh yeah, there's a V8 Coyote, V8 Boss, so there's definitely a V8, there's got to be a V8, uh, V8 Ford stuff in here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Engine head, engine head. V8 Ford, see, there it is. All right, let's camshaft and crankshaft. So the crankshaft is going to be the same. The camshaft is the V8 OHV. That one is the one that you want to swap out for the high performance part. Crankshaft is going to be the same. Oh, and we need our pistons. That's what we came here for to buy in the first place. There it is. Eight. Go ahead and grab those spark plugs. Mm. Ignition distributor, we'll tackle that in just a minute. So.
trying to think how many we broke. I don't think we broke any rod caps. I think it was just this crankshaft bearing cap that we broke. Yeah. <clears throat> nope, it was a rod cap. Because we didn't need a crankshaft bearing cap, unfortunately. No big deal. We have some extras for the next time we break one. Or if there's an engine piece that's actually missing, honestly. Two rod caps, but we got to go to the normal shop here. Two rod caps. Okay, rotate. Aftermarket flywheel, aftermarket clutch plate, and the clutch pressure plate. And then the bearing itself is actually uh, just a normal bearing. But we have to buy that, of course. Okay. Now, here's the tricky part. We're going to work on the front here. I know there's quite a few things that are aftermarket parts that are also not... What is that? cam gear v8 ohv and then we need an arm right arm is it just arm for the v8 ford where's the arm there it is and then we need our cam gear v8 ohv there it is we're also going to need our timing chain go ahead and grab that Nothing high performance about that. Okay. Alternator. We do have the high performance alternator. All right. Now, crankshaft pulley for V8. I don't think a water pump. I don't think there's a high performance water pump. I'm almost positive there's not a high performance water pump. But I will double check. Crankshaft pulley, v oh V8 OHV. Okay, I thought it said I thought it said V8 Ford at first, and I was like, wait a minute, what? Okay, so we got power steering pump for V8 ignition coil. These are all aftermarket parts of fuel filters. All right, so let's go back to uh, fuel filter. It's probably going to be the first one that comes up. There we go. Our ignition coil <clears throat> A and B, right? Yeah, B and A, yeah. Ignition distributor rotor, and then this is just a normal <clears throat> ignition distributor cap. And I'm almost positive, yeah, there's no water pump. I should have known. Oh, power steering pump for a V8. There we go. Filter, water pump pulley. I go all the way to the end, but before we do, we need to buy a clip B. There we go, water pump pulley. Serpentine belt A and serpentine belt B for Ford. V8 Ford, sorry. Serpentine belt B, V8 Ford. Serpentine belt A. 
It's right here. There it is. That was right on it. Look at that. Sweet. All right, so that one is done. There's our engine parts right here. Aftermarket engine parts. Aftermarket spark plug. A little bit annoying that it puts the... Ah, we just leveled up. Look at that. That's cool, I guess. To be honest with you, I don't think you get anything for leveling up anymore. Maybe you get a box. I don't know. Hopefully you get a box. I'm pretty sure there's no engine head cover, but we'll double check. Engine head, yeah, just exhaust manifolds. Look at that, exhaust manifold for V8 Ford. There you go. And we'll put our V8 manifold in. Uh-oh. Is there an A? There's an A is in there. Nope. I don't see one for the V8 Ford. All right. Thank goodness. I was about to, about to get upset. I just bought a high performance part because I was moving too fast. Wasn't paying attention. like you could just put multiple valve push rods in at the same time it's so tedious and it's it's a little frustrating because once you get like if you like it's a little annoying but i mean whatever Ignition wires, what is this? Just for ignition wires V8. Here we go. Whew, I'm so glad that was that was a, a B as well. And not an A. Oh man. Wait, hold on. Intake manifold? Intake manifold? Take man, a full look at that V8 Ford right there. Wait. Intake manifold B. Take manifold A. There it is. Intake manifold B. V8 Ford. Ooh. Okay. Carburetor, two barrel side draft. Oops. Carburetor, two barrel, side draft. We need four of them. We are almost done. Air trumpet. 
don't think I saw. Yeah. Air trumpet. There it is. we go 100% complete let's put this baby back in hundred percent engine so at least we know all the engine parts are together uh, here we go I gotta fill up the reservoirs thing we need to do is put the oil in that's the one oh and the power steering fluid <laughs> that's the one good thing about the older engines is that like the oil filter and stuff all the oils like or sorry the oil filter the uh the oil cap is easy to get to the nissan the new nissans and the dlc man those are <clears throat> those are insanely annoying to get to, especially the GTR. You have to take like the top half of the, you know, engine off. It's so frustrating. All right, let's get this, uh, get the back half of this engine on. Oh, we have a transmission that we can gearboxes. Yeah. What is this? V8. Oh, gearbox B V8 OHV gearbox B. V8 OHV, there we go. Get that high performance. Get our starter in. Get our drive axle. And get our big tires in the back. percent body parts all right let's put this this guy down <clears throat> Wind shield we're gonna take these off take the doors there should be a back window all right nope just kidding I don't want to get oh my god <laughs> front left seat front right seat and then the GT 40 steering wheel. Okay, let's uh, use the equipment. Oh, $2,000. Jeez. interior shop first. We'll just uh, search GT. There we go. 40. Buy those two and buy that one. And then our body station. <clears throat> our GT40. Whoops. Do we have? We don't have aftermarket. Nope. I don't think so. Get our windows, our headlights. Uh, 
Okay. We need a license plate? We do, don't we? Hmm. In order to be 100%, we need a license plate. Okay. Uh... Is there a Michigan license plate? There's gotta be a Michigan. There it is. <clears throat> Let's do a custom plate. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two on each side, so G, T, 40. Okay, oops. G, T, 40, yeah. Sweet, all right, put that on there. I'm curious. Yeah, you can't put any accessories on here. I didn't think so. All right, 100% across the board. Let's take her to the paint shop. Let's get her a nice coat of paint. And then we will go from there. We'll also go to the tuning shop, too, because we want to tune her and see what just exactly. All right, so there's no livery now. This should be white, blue stripes, white stripes, black stripes, no stripes. All right, so I am a fan of white with blue stripes. Because I just think that looks awesome. It was a more of a white, so let's try. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's the pearl. The pearl less in paint. That's where it's at. Look how beautiful she is. All right, to the tuning shop. <clears throat> I think I have everything in there. Yes, dyno test. All right, we're at factory power, 335. Let's see how much we are gonna get. Well, that's an interesting engine sound. Look at that. 555. Nice. I approve. All right. Test track, race track, test track, speed track. Speed track? That's, yeah, that's just. Top speed is uh, 371 miles an hour. Look at that. All right, let's get that GT40 out there. Wheels are not aligned. Uh oh. I totally forgot about the test path. <laughs> nice. Now we'll go to the speed track. 
And then the next build I'm going to do is that Mustang. I absolutely, I want to build like the best coyote engine, or not coyote engine. Uh, okay. There it is. I like the sound already. All right, here we go. Whoops, that's backwards. fourth gear. I don't think this thing has five gears. Nope, it doesn't have five gears. But its top speed is 245. Alright. Alright, top speed at 245. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, let's, uh, let's go back to the lift, and then I'll swap it out with one of the other cars. Just because when you do that, if you move it and random, it, like, puts it back over there. All right, cool. So that is it. That is the GT40 with a fully built uh, high-performance engine. This right here is going to be our next one. Uh, probably going to be later tonight, uh, maybe. It is the Mustang, just a Ford Mustang. But we're going to put a, uh, a V8. I think it's the a AXK or AKX engine in there. Um, I thought about putting the... Uh, I thought about putting the Coyote engine in there, um, but... The AKX uh, has way more horsepower. So uh, the other Mustang that I got that I bought for like twenty thousand, um, I actually ended up losing money when I re repaired all the parts and everything. Uh, I actually lost a lot of money on it. So, uh, well, about five thousand dollars, but it wasn't a big deal because I rebuilt the three seventy Z and I was able to make all that money back. So, yeah, this one we're gonna do the uh, dual overhead cam, the AKX, the AXK. Sorry. That's going to be the engine that's going to go in this bad boy. This is a Coyote engine. So, yeah. Powered by Ford. Oh, look at that. Cool. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. This is going to be the next build. And then, of course, obviously, we have our Hellcat right there waiting. Uh, we've got our Katagiri outside, and we've got our Bolt Atlanta as well. Um, I don't know if I want to do a dual V8 build or not uh but we will see uh dual dual v8 build does sound kind of cool um and just do the bolt atlanta and the uh edgewood at the same time but until then guys thank you for for watching uh stay tuned for more of these and i will see you next time